Hello and welcome. If it is your first time here, hello again. If you are returning, welcome back. Last episode was crazy. Dimitri got his arm broken. Daniel met up with Chosen again. He was really scary in the beginning, but he was just messing with us. And he was able to teach Daniel some moves. Kimiko came in with a clutch at the end with Yuna. I'm pretty sure this is gonna help Daniel save his business. And Amanda slapped the taste buds out of Krisa's mouth. I hope she's okay. <laughs> I hope nothing terrible happens to her. What? Oh no, this dick. Johnny, Johnny. Hey, tell her to send one for me, would you? In your dreams, pal. Isn't it so weird that this kid was so sweet and kind and good and decent and not a dick back? How tragic. What's happening? He does karate? Is this where he learned real karate? Oh, your CEO tells me you're a real go-getter. You got a death wish kid. Defend my country. You hero. Oh, there's no heroes here, so we are forming a team. Direct action missions into North Vietnam. I'll train you myself. Guerrilla tactics, demolitions, hand-to-hand -hand combat. So I learned Tang Soo Do during the Korean War. Learned to master Kim Sun Young. You'll learn the same. This is so bad for you. I'm still so surprised that he volunteered to go. If we're gonna do this, we need the absolute best. Yeah! Woo! This is so terrible. We need determination. What? We need brutality. Your general ruins your life, Chris. I'm sure if he's still around right now, he would have tell you this was a mistake and you should probably get some help for whatever issues you have. But I'm still glad we went to high school in the 80s. It's crazy how things change. What are you up to these days? Wait till I tell you what happened over there. I thought he would be, you know, still in Japan. The kids are at your mother's. Huh. Oh, you missed a lot, sir. A lot of things have happened. You know, there might be more beef. There might be more fighting. Oh, look at this. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh no. I don't think these guys are Cobra Kai material. Weren't you the one saying that we should get new recruits? I know some of these guys and, and they're natural athletes. See, Eli, he's not your friend. He's not trying to look out for you. He's a terrible person. You need to get out of here. Our recruits must earn their position in this dojo. Only the strong will survive. Okay, I kind of want you to be that boy's butt. I look like a giant baby. Your legs are still oh, pussy. Jesus. <laughs> now you ready to stand? <laughs> God, Johnny is the worst. Oh my God. All right, better fall that Can time. you not drop him? It's not good for him. I don't know, it's a Facebook message. That? You cannot send her that message. First, we need to get some pictures. Do you have any photos? Yeah, photos? Yeah. Oh no, it's in paper. It's paper. They're not digital, <laughs> Miguel. I'm going over there. What are you gonna do, hit him? Look, it's that kind of insanity that got us into this mess. Did you tell him you slapped him? What's your way? Going to the police. What are they going to do? It's a karate <laughs> class. They can't close it down. They can't really do anything. It's the kid with the lip. I thought it moved. The hair kind Such of a dick. <laughs> Is that the same Asian kid that got beat by Johnny? There are two different forms of fighting. Don't be happy yet. Okay. Oh. Finish him. What? Oh, jeez. Again, why do am I surprised every time? You're a terrible teacher and a terrible person. He's going to take your spot on the team. What? He loses concentration on the battlefield and you're dead meat. No hesitation, no second thoughts, and no mercy. Before they surrender. Never trust your enemy. You're supposed to kill people that surrender to you? Isn't that a war crime? This is a problem with Kreese. You're not at war, sir. You're just in the world existing. Oh no, what happened? Not a word of this. Oh Chris, no. Understood. Did she die? You know, we're probably just better off going with some new photos. I'm not sure I want you to grease me up right now. <laughs> Maybe we'll get over everything. A few moments later. 
Some more moments later. We'll look at what Allie's into. We'll take pictures of me doing the same stuff. You think the aquarium will let me get in there with the dolphins? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with Johnny, but you and Miguel are hilarious. Ashley, an emergency protective order has already been filed. Against you, Amanda, for slapping him. You showed up at his place of business enraged. Okay, uh, I was not enraged. You struck him? He's a liar. It must have been cathartic to slap this man, but he's a terrible person. He'll make your life awful. You, big boy. He's mine. Get him, Lip. You need to shut the f up. All right, let's see if I can fix that lip of yours. <laughs> You're not fighting. You're just beating this kid. Oh, my God. Okay, stop. This is not how you work through your emotion and your feelings. Hawk, you need to go see a therapist. I think we can call it a day. You're a trash teacher, man. You're going to ruin the life of these kids. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay, yeah. Got it. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have gotten him that. You should have tried California Road. <laughs> He's a child. Miguel? Tori. How'd you know I worked here? I have it, didn't I, I know that I should come to see you. I just didn't know how to help. So you did nothing. But we're doing everything we can to get back at Miyagi Do what they did to you. This is not Miyagi Do's problem or fault. It was an accident. Things happen sometimes. I never cared about Miyagi Dough or a crease. I cared about us. I saw you with her. I didn't have a choice. You shouldn't have started the fight in the first place. And you guys like fighting, getting back at Miyagi Do is not gonna do anything. It literally does nothing. I know you're helping your mom, but you need help. <gasps> you think I'm crazy? You're angry and you're sad and you're going through a lot in life. And you should probably talk to someone. You can't keep all of that bottled inside. It's not good for you. No, that's okay. Everyone does. Because all that matters is who wins in the end. You have a proposal for me, darling? It's a business proposal, not the indecent cut. Gross. Gross. I want you to evict a tenant. Unstable. He's unpredictable. So his rent is predictable. Amanda, people usually don't care if it doesn't like affect their bottom line. And just because something is happening, if it doesn't affect them, they're not going to really care. We'll double it. Excuse me. Amanda. We don't have any money. We're going broke as it is. Look, all we want is Crease to be gone. Then you can rent out the space to another tenant. Oh my God, run, kid. Oh no. Oh God. Is this their first mission? You killed us. Johnny. Please tell me they didn't kill him in front of him. <gasps> oh no. <gasps> oh my God. I told you not to Oh my God. His friend was killed in front of him. Jesus Christ. My nephews are going to help you leave. Oh, uh, they're going to get beat. If you aren't even trying, what's the problem? You saw your ex, big deal. You spent all day doing bullshit for your ex, trying to make you look like someone you're not. You let Chris take your dojo. You let Hawk and Tori and everyone else think you're weak. Because it was a mistake to begin with. You're a sensei. That's who you are. If you can't see that, you're blind. He is kind of right. <gasps> oh my God, yes. <laughs> I love them. They both have something that each other needs. For a long time, I didn't have much direction in my life. I met a kid who needed some help, so I got back into karate. I have a long way to go to be a better man, a better father, a better teacher. It's a tough world out there, and I can help them be ready for it. Let's get our dojo back, baby. Dealership's back on its feet. Crease is out of our lives. Crease is not out of your lives. I feel like something terrible is about to happen. Hey, Armand. Larusso. The deal is off. What? We had an agreement. But you can't end a war with diplomacy. So I suggest you prepare your students for battle. This is bad. Oh, God. Ew. Snakes are disgusting freaks. I would not be in there. 
I told you, y'all shouldn't have gloated. It's not over. Crease is a terrible person. He's going to come at y'all. Great episode. We learn more about Crease and things are starting to ramp up. The shenanigans has officially started. Uh, Crease has dropped a challenge and Daniel has to pick it up. <laughs> um, the next episodes are going to be hectic and crazy and all over the place. I am looking forward to that. I think the LaRussos are underestimating Crease, which they shouldn't do. He's a very dangerous guy. First, Crease is really smart and he's manipulative. And from the outside looking in, he seems like a good guy. He's a veteran, a small business owner that is trying to be a part of the community. He's not doing anything terrible. No one knows anything about him or what he did to his students before and what he's doing now. With someone like that, you can't just like push him away. You can't force him to leave. You have to expose him to the community. You have to be much smarter than Crease to win out. You can't use brute force. It's not going to work on him. But a part of me does feel really bad for him. He has been through a lot. I'm assuming he lost his wife and child and his friends. When it comes to his friends, he must feel quite responsible because in his mind he's thinking if only I called the then we wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have lost my friends and possibly his uh, mentor. And I'm pretty sure he has some kind of PTSD. Plus, he already had a hard life as it is. His childhood was not great. And it's understandable why he turned out the way he did. With all of that said, I still don't like him. Johnny gave him the chance to be better. If he was working on it, if he was trying but failing like Johnny, I will give you the benefit of the doubt. But he's a terrible person. He's stuck in his ways. He does not want to change. And you will think after all of this years, after seeing how his life turned out, seeing how Johnny and the other kids' life turned out, you will think he will want to change how he lived his life but no and he's doing the same thing to tori and eli he's ruining another generation of kids and that's terrible he has already stoked the anger in eli and tori and look at what tori did already i'm not saying that this is not tori's fault and she should not be responsible for her actions but crease being there did not help i think johnny would have been much better compared to him tori is going through a lot with her mom and her situation and being pretty much responsible for everything eli has gone through a lot with being bullied constantly kids are terrible and evil especially when they're like in middle school and high school they're awful they've been through a lot and they need real help and crease is not it i feel like eli is seeing more and more of what crease is like i just hope tori sees it too and they can all leave i hate kyler his name is dumb and he is the worst of course he joins cobra kai he sucks anyways thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you have a good one and you'll see me later. Bye.